Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here in Project Valid Jordan which we're playing as the Rebel Alliance. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, but we have the Corellian Treaty to do next. An accord proposed by the leaders of the most powerful rebel cells that formalize the alliance to restore the Republic, tying knots between the, each cell and uniting each under one ruling council, or as it's formally called, Alliance I Command. This treaty will unite each cell via annexation, direct puppeting, or joining our alliance. So, that'll be great. And then what? Um, secure new headquarters? Sure, why not? What do we got here? Free Ryloth. Cool. Well, yeah, hope you guys are having a good day. With Kashyyyk Resistance joins our faction. Ascensions between dissidents and the imperial government reach a boiling point. The Kashyyyk Resistance has opted to ally the alliance to restore the Republic. Wonderful. As well as the Republic of Moncala, Corellian Resistance, Spectre Cell, Masasi Group, Cortes Militia, Chand uh, Chandrillan Resistance, Virgilian Free Alignment, Free Ryloth as well. Oh god. Oh, where were these guys? Oh, I forgot to help these guys out. So, I'll, I'll be honest, I had to replay this off screen. Um, just because things were not working out so well for us. Oh, we actually have a Navy now. Look at this. Oh, well, great. Um, but yeah, uh, the game kept crashing on me. So, I just basically replayed everything we did here. Um, what do we got here? Shove everybody in the same thing, I guess. Well, we got more space now to do stuff, I guess. So we gotta figure out how everyone's going to get down where and what to. So who are, actually are we with Virgilian, huh? You know what? Just gonna erase that. Just stay there. And you be led by who? This guy, sure. You know, we'll, we'll just need it here. Take all the guys here. There you go. That's what we want. And so where are these guys all at? So what do we have here now? Oh god. Uh, motorized, we'll keep that. That's not great. Ooh, look at this. Suppression plus two, huh? Interesting. Rebel garrisons, uh, infantry templates. Oh, well, that's not bad. Actually, that's because we have 18 combo width and we have anti air here. Infantry template 3 has anti tank, though, and everything else is exactly the same. Well, except they have another battalion here. Combat width. Infantry template 3 is not terrible. Infantry template 3, um, 21 combat width. Interesting. Spectre Officers, 20, Karelian Militia, mm, Mon Calamari Militia, literally just Militia, Mon Cala. How does this compare to Infantry? Okay, let's say I remove that, and then you add in Infantry. Suppression goes down, huh. Yeah, whatever. Let's get rid of all these, because I've not actually seen these before, so there you go. Bye. Actually, because I, ooh. Because I see a few of these as well. Light tank template twos. Well, they have no armor on them. Well, what's the point of light tanks if light tanks don't have armor? Like, literally no armor. Couldn't tell you. And now we got a few more factories, a little more anti-air, a lot more artillery. Yeah, stick, on, stick 15 on there. Um, Plane-wise, do we have anything for planes? Maybe not. Maybe I forgot to make planes. Whoops. Medium airframe, interwar. That's fine, and we'll go with... Go with 5, go with that, go with that. There you go. And some of our ships are just outdated, but that's alright. So in the meantime, I don't need to train anymore. No, I don't need to train anymore either. Sure. Oh god. That's not ideal. 
If anything, I need you to push out. It's a little laggy now. That's not good. Oh god. Uh. Well, I might want to relook at this because I don't want to lose any divisions here. I want you to hold. I don't want you to die completely yet. And you gotta recover, but they're not giving us time to recover, which is honestly very smart by the enemy, but not good for us. Delayed option is decent. God dang. We secure new headquarters. Uh, secure hot neutrality. Oh, look at that. The founding chancellor. The recently established alliance side commands deemed it necessary to elect a chancellor of our alliance to restore the republic. A true chancellor, a proper democracy resembling that of the old true republic. Well, the chancellor must be strong, well versed in the politics of the galaxy. There is truly only half of rebels worthy of this new leadership role. Choose wisely. Which I'm sure we're going to have to figure out in a little bit too, but still. Please, at least let us strike out a little bit. Okay, now I'm feeling better about this. So now we can do this. Go ahead, beat the crap out of them. The last 3,000 versus 21,000. Get rid of the aristocracy. Yes, very good. Awesome. Cavalry leader. Oh. Good job for taking them out. Nice. Good stuff. And we took their navy screen ship too. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. A couple more scores, nice. Just need a lot of arty. Do we can we buy any arty? Well, a little bit, not much. Anti-air. Blasters, fourteen twenty-nine. Fine, go ahead and do that too. So I'm not sure what's going to happen here. I'm not sure how we're supposed to take out ooh, um, a lot of our enemies and whatnot. So I'm not sure which one we are going to do. It's active. They're both active here. We want to secure this too. And we want to recruit loyal resistance leaders as well. Negotiations with Kota. An offer from General Kota. The old friend of the rebellion, General Ram Kota, has dispatched a trusted emissary to Aldera. While it's a shame that the general himself cannot be a president, he insisted that the droid proxy is more than capable to speak in his absence. The talks are expected to be mainly of wider strategy, as Kota's forces find themselves alone in a region dominated by radicals and imperial garrisons. Let us engage with the general honestly and constructively, as we are doing clemency for deserters. This is weekly manpower, which hopefully you don't need, but you know, you never know. Because I really don't know what the war with the Empire is going to be like. I'm sure it's going to be devastating. It's going to be... Uh, kind of crazy. So, um, are we good down here? We're good pretty much on a lot of things here. And then we're going to go with Mon Matha of Chandrila. Uh, the Chandrilan politician has been a long time ally of the Alliance and very outspoken of the Empire. Their perfect selection to be the Chancellor, years of, ex of ex service in the Senate, provided with all the skills to be to politically expand the Alliance. Cool. Alright, so what do we got here? Oops. And what else? Two at a time. I think here, yeah, it's a little bit ahead of time. We'll build some synthetics first. Anything else we really need? Unlock Goss graduates? Sure, why not? I just don't know how things are going to end up because we have garrisons here on our little states. Gorman shipping lanes debate. Oh, God. The <clears throat> crisis over Gorman has finally boiled over. Amid the open spat between the planetary and galactic movements, new reporting has revealed Imperial naval vessels blocking critical shipping lanes to the planet. Gormanese officials have since decried the act of political blackmail and military blockade, though the Imperial Navy denies all such claims. How awful. Political envoys. Oh. We're getting a boo here, too. Malastart. Utapau. Rebellion from within. Our Chancellor believes that you can be the spark of rebellion for your homeworld, regardless of your seat in the Imperial Senate. Following our footsteps, the Empire is blind of those who are in the, within the public eye. Senator, Union Leader, Famous Aviator, Royal Lineage, no matter your background, you can inspire your people to fight. What do we got here? Anything else? Mon Matha. Alliance Support Council. Even a strong chancellor skilled in the realm of politics is in need of loyal and supporting council at their side. Mm, support council, that's pretty good. Information warfare. Alliance saboteurs, that'd be pretty good. Cultivating a rebellion. 
cult rebellion from within, and then cultivating a rebellion. Huh. Seems pretty good to me. Not much we're going to do here. And eventually, then, the military council. It's a year on thousand. When you go to war, so you unlock alliance special forces. Unlock Ore Marco. Unlock Dazda. Mancala ships, so can't do anything there. Have we made any more ships? Yes, we have. So another drawer, which this one is not looking too bad. We've got a lot of screens and quite a few heavies. Um, we do have two cruisers, which is not bad, but we could use some uh, ships or planes on them, fighters. Yeah, 20 fighters on each one. Go with close air support on each one. I want to get some naval bombers, but I don't have time to make them, really. Radar is better. Better radar. Supply chain. Uh, well, let's go to the military council just in case. Seems like things are getting to a more of a heated point very soon. Getting blasters, nice. Sure, why not? And then what? Operation Strike Fear is in effect on Solust. Well, I guess we'll do this one. Solving the Gyrica problem. Looking pretty decent. Plenty of equipment. I'm not sure we need to use any of the 40 comp with stuff, but you never know. Battleship, nice. Proof computing. Go ahead, time. Um, Imperial Man Nan declared war. Oh, let's go with Alliance of Tours. We should get another event here, probably. Maybe. Ooh. Acting Chancellor Mo Senator Mon Matha has slowly been ignoring the Council of the Rebel High Command. This has resulted in tension among the high ranks. As Senator Garn Bell Iblis is the only surviving rebel leader brave enough to stand up to the Mon Matha's decisions, the Garaka system was the final straw when Mon Mothma gave the go-ahead for the alliance to raid an Imperial garrison without seeking approval of Iblis or her military advisors. Before the attack was inactive, Iblis caught up for the Senator for actions as an at an Alliance High Command conference, requesting that she postpone or reconsider the attack. The decision is yours to make. Uh, do you go forward, bringing Borsk Felial closer into the Alliance, or Garm Bel Iblis? However, there's only one choice, and the other one has to leave the Alliance. Oh crap, I don't know who it is. Um, Karelian troops will leave. Oh man, we get more here. We straight up annex the Karelian Alliance, huh? Oh, that's quite interesting. Um, so we have Garm Bel Iblis to choose from versus everyone else. Well, let's see, and then we also have uh, Borsk the Fey the Scarlet. Sorry, I'm also looking this up online as we're doing this uh, live, so. So in the end, we went uh, and not integrated Corellia, but we have Alliance Saboteurs done. We went with the side with Borsk, and we can get the Bothan Spy Network, which sounds uh, like a lot of fun. And now Ahsoka Tano is a uh, Jedi leader here. It's kind of cool. Um, ships, what do we got here? Look at that. Well, if it's enough to do, okay here. We're just going to throw on these guys here, too. Why not? 100, 121, boom, boom. There we go, just in case. Good, we need to go. Hopefully, we don't get completely blown out of the water, but you never know. And after that one, I'm crushing pearl shipyards. Sure, why not? The Alliance fleet. Uh, you get Mon Mothma gains Mon Mothma Charter. Daily political power, daily command power gain. That seems pretty good to me. So, what do you think is supposed to explode between us? Synthetics, nice. Chart of the Alliance, improved look artillery. Grab some of that. Sure, why not? Oh. 
And what else do we really care about here? Not really. These are the same people. We got a finance graduate, I guess. New Republic of uh, Provisional Council or Secure Hut Neutrality. That'd probably be really good to do as well. I was trying to put up more civvies and get more millies and good stuff like that. A little ahead of time. What's this? Ah. Naval designers and stuff. It's not bad. Mechanized equipment? Well, I don't really think we need mechanized, so. Get me wrong. Forty anti tank, just in case. Secure hut neutrality is good. Um, weapons manufacturing, defensive measures, call for defectors. As war rages throughout our galaxy, uprisings in almost every system. The atrocities of the Empire are starting to come to light. Destroying their own home, officers' home worlds or mass murdering populations for little no reason. These crimes are making our officers, stormtroopers, and all the ranks in the Empire think. Truly think about what they're fighting for, why they're enlisted. Senator Mothma. Plans to put out a speech on the hollow net prompting those who join the cause, fighting for their home world, or for peace or for freedom. The fight isn't, unlim isn't limited. Anyone, no matter the background, can join, fight, and win for the alliance. Hut declares neutrality. Return from the hut capital of Bilbozo and the Nile Hotel. Uh, our hotel. Our diplomat reports that the hut council has agree not agreed to a request of their neutrality. Oh, crud. That sucks. Motorized civilian support. Already. Well, looks like we gotta split some factories off. Make even more, please. Oh, I should have converted battleship cruiser. Look at that. for defectors. Um, oh, Temple Intelligence. I guess we have to do this stuff here too. Operation Fracture, huh? Because eventually we're going to accept uh, defecting income employees. Or we could recover air so alive. Interesting. So what do we got here? Rapid fire sounds pretty nice to me. Uh, we're gonna need some more fuel, aren't we? I apologize for taking so long to get to war. I just I just don't know anything about this. Ships of the line. And since we're here. And then we'll do uh, Extraction Team Bravo. Koda asks to inquire at Rothanum. Koda has requested to be given the planet at Rothanum, renowned for its unforgiving ice terrain and thriving economy center on shipbuilding and military vehicle development. <coughs> Relinquishing this plan to Koda not only ease its existing responsibilities, but also bolster a crucial ally in a collective struggle to liberate the galaxy from the oppressive grip of the Empire. We support Koda's request. Recovery Jin Erso. Extraction Team Bravo returned with the Wobani prison complex earlier this morning and was successful in recovering Jin Erso, the daughter of the prominent Imperial scientist Galen Erso. She not only proven to be very cooperative, however, uh, General Draven and Mon Mothma believe she can be convinced. Good. And then we could recover him alive, but historically it was this one. Authorized Operation Fracture. 
and Rogue One. Oh, it has to be after 999. Well, it's January 1001. Death of Galen Erso. We received confirmation that, under the orders of General David Draven, Galen Erso was killed by a proton bomb dropped by one of our Y-Wings. Draven reports that Erso was instead supposed to be covertly assassinated by Cassian Andor. However, shortly after approaching the planet, communications were severed with the head of intelligence. Central Command, um, Private Frontier Governors. Mission to this. Oh. Well, I guess we gotta go down here. Meet with the guilds. With several prominent, powerful guilds, as we suggest sending out envoys in secret to meet with the leadership of these guilds. And help secure backdoor support to help toggle the Empire's grip on the galaxy, however, not everyone will be so willing to support an endeavor. Since we're here. Mission to uh, Wakaku. A visit to uh, uh, Galactic Antiquities. We go seek out sympathizers. Bunmasa, known for his outspoken opinions, and raids on Imperial fleets in the Duro systems. Masa has grown quite a reputation for himself in the naval world. We should write you out to see he's willing to join a cause and fight for Duro's liberation. Rebel negotiators were successfully able to garner the support of the bounty hunter and mounting guilds, despite objections from some within the Rebel Council in the meeting held in the first place. The support of the two guilds cannot be overstated, however, as combined, they comprise a substantial sum of the galaxy's industry. Hopefully, we do not come to regret it. God dang it. Fine. Just die if you want to be difficult. That's how you do this stuff, you know. And now we're Spymaster. You got sympathizers? There you go. And then extraction team given. Nothing about ships yet. Kind of sucks, but still. Wait, what? Ends their war against us and transfers course states to us. What's the Empire up to? Rule by fear, huh? Breakthrough, yeah. So you got sympathizers. Welcome. Andor and K2SO becomes operatives. Oh. oh so before we do that, we're going to do this real quick. Here, aren't we? So, what happens if we do go to war with these guys? Oh, that's not bad, just Imperial Camino. Are they allied to anybody? Starting a lot of guys. You guys come out here and. Wait to the finish repairing and whatnot. Oh, the guys are trying to invade. That's good to see. 
Oh, Jesus. Go, get over here. Move. I'm probably saying this wrong, but mission do Wakako. Well, on a mission to the planet of Wikako, Captain Cassian Andor was successfully able to recover and reprogram Imperial K2 units. He's claimed the usage of one unit, named K2SO, for his own purposes on missions. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh, baton insurgency, huh? Thank you. As we're still waiting for our ships to, uh, like, freaking show up. Like, come on. Do better. Extraction team given, of course. You're next. Ah, there we go. So now they've joined the Empire. Now we're finally at war. So let's see what we can do. So we're at war with the Galactic Empire. Finally. Mm hmm. I hope we don't get our ships completely just destroyed, too. That would really suck. Well, we're here, up there. Um, can I send you back home? Is that possible without getting completely destroyed and wrecked? Because you know that would really suck. If we got completely destroyed and wrecked. Industry, Elmer Extraction, I want U7 down here. Let's get up Overworld. Oh. Alright, uh, well, that's alright with me. Well, these are at war now. They're processing because we have no fuel. Not good. <laughs> Toad anti air. Wait, do we already fix this? Are we missing something here? Toad anti air, anti air. No, we'll come back for them later. Uh, maybe I'll send the Navy back home. Can we invade just like enemy planets? Uh, aiding Azamin Station, approaching Groundskeeper, Operation Tyrant. Operation Tyrant plot to work with a defecting Imperial officer to steal one of the Empire's most iconic representations of oppression. He's against them. The success of such a mission would crush Imperial morale and provides with a heavily armed Imperial Star destroyed to assign to our fleets. Oh boy, what do we find here? Nice. Ah, see, I knew they'd do that here. Can you guys actually move out here? No. You definitely cannot, so you're gonna hold out there. Oh god. How are they able to win? When we can pierce them. Oh, we can't pierce them, though. I might add just more infantry on here anyways. And throw on more anti-tank. Yeah, that makes sense. And we need more guns. I mean, they want to force the attack, we'll force the defense. Oh god, maybe not. Schnackies. Pro Camino's been called in. So, where are we at? So, he actually, he actually made it back. Good job, guys. 
Could we naval invade from, let's say, Aldero to here? As we're definitely struggling against armor, we lost a lot of guys already. Holy cow. We lost it? Are you kidding me, bro? Like, do better. How are we losing? Okay, so I assume the other divisions are have to be 40 combat width or something. Yeah, they're 40 combat width. They're really thick. So something good to know for the future. Just because, I mean, we're, we don't get told anything about how the enemies are doing and what they're building and whatnot. So, hmm. Operation Tyrant. Interesting. Central Command, huh? Full strategic integration, yes. Brad Frontier Governors, which would be good. And then what we might want to do... Electric Wide uh, Space Salvage, which we read earlier before. We're trying to do in detailed fleet report. Complete fleet training, fleet organization, restructuring of the army, uh, alliance infiltration program, standard issue binoculars, as well as special, specialization training. And Medine's Rules of War. Standard operation procedures of the Alliance Army, drafted and named after General Crix Medine, the famous leader and Imperial Defector. His new rules of war are separate into three common strategies and followed by every rebel officer, but I think I might end it there. I gotta go back to the, the drawing board and make sure that we do okay. Just because I never, like I said, I don't know how strong these guys are gonna be or not. I don't know what type of combo they're using. So, yeah. I'm gonna I'll redo this just a little bit. Actually, we have more manpower than they do. Huh. Of course, they're on volunteer only, but even then, we're on. No, I'm not even on that, so. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, though, even though it took us a while to get to this point to go to war with them, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we'll be doing better against the Empire. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous rest of your day.